So this year I discovered that I like to draw animals and I hope that's a good thing because given the way the 2020 has gone, uh, you never know, you never know. But I think it's a good thing, I think it's cool. But let's go back to like the beginning of my life. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. So when I think about when I was a kid, I've always loved nature and I never really thought about it until recently but when I was in school, elementary school as a kid, like six years old, even probably before that, five, six, seven years old, my favorite subject in class was always social studies, which basically back then meant geography. You know, you learned about the world, you learned the state capitals of the US and the, the capitals of the countries and you learned about countries and all kinds of different things. So I realized I've always had an interest in the world. Uh, I don't know where that came from. I think part of it, uh, when I was a kid, my mom lived in Washington State, up near Seattle. For a few years I visited and it was just an amazing landscape, incredible. I love seeing the trees and the forests and uh, sometimes we see animals like foxes and deer, wildlife, a lot of really cool things. Uh, saw Mount St. Helens, Mount Rainier, waterfalls, went on hikes. So I think when I was a kid, this kind of really influenced who I am as a person and kind of influenced what I love. Uh, maybe I already had a passion for that kind of stuff, but being exposed to that, having those experiences just kind of helped it even more. Um, but I never really drew animals. When I look back at my old drawings from when I was a kid, I have this stack of like 300 drawings. I never really had many animals. I have cartoons and stuff like that, like cartoon animals, but that I was drawing it because they were cartoons. Uh, maybe cartoons are another aspect of the whole animal thing. I don't know. But what I, I didn't really connect to all that until recently in 2018, May 2018, I took a trip to Alaska. And actually I have a lot of clips from that Alaska trip in a video on my channel, you can check that out. It's pretty epic, it's really cool. I went to Denali National Park, saw a lot of incredible wildlife. Uh, moose, uh, birds, all kinds of wild birds, a grizzly bear, um, all kinds of stuff. I can't even remember all the things they saw, but it was very amazing. We got a lot of amazing photos and it really just made me fall back in love with nature and with animals again. And I used those photos from that trip as inspiration this year to start drawing pen and ink and stuff. I started drawing the moose that I drew, that I uh, took photos of, the snowshoe hare, the bunny rabbits and stuff. It's really cool, man. It's really cool seeing those. And I realized that trip really inspired me to start painting plain air again and really get into that really start focusing on that and figuring that out. And now I've been, ever since that trip, I've been doing, that's when I started doing watercolor plein air during that Alaska trip. And overall, it was just an amazing trip for wildlife and really inspired me up until today. And I didn't really realize that until recently. And if you're looking to get inspired and improve some of your skills, I recommend checking out Skillshare. It's an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people, probably like yourself and uh, you can explore your new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. So they offer classes on graphic design, art, drawing, painting, illustration, fine art, all kinds of things. One class that inspired me recently is called Video Editing, Transforming Footage into Evocative Travel Stories by Oliver Astrologo. And Skillshare is all about learning, so there's no ads on the videos, and they're always launching new premium classes, so you can stay focused, and go wherever your creativity takes you. And actually it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. So the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership of Skillshare. I hope you find some great things to inspire you on Skillshare. And now let's get back into why I like drawing animals. But really the whole point of why I'm making this video while I'm explaining all this to you is like going back to things when I was a kid, having these experiences and then taking these other trips. You know, I went to other nature trips and stuff as I was growing up. I saw a lot of other nature, I always fall in love with nature every time I go to a new place, it's very inspiring. But the, the reason I'm telling you this is because sometimes the things that you're attracted to, the things that you like and the things that you enjoy and stuff that you might like to draw you don't even realize it. It's something that takes time. It, it's, it takes reflection on your life. You kind of have to look back at your whole life and determine, wow, what happened to me? You know, what, what was I drawn to as a kid? Because sometimes those things when you're a kid, that's really who you are, you know, because there's, there's no, 
there's very little filters on you as a kid. You know, kids are very honest about what they like, what they don't like. Is there anything that really stands out? And for me, I, I knew it was nature. I mean, it's, nature has always been, I've always been a landscape painter. I've always been inspired by that, but the whole wildlife and animal part of it that I've discovered, rediscover, kind of rediscovered this year, didn't really realize that until I took that trip to Alaska and, and got to see a lot of wildlife. And now I just love drawing animals, pen and ink. And it's, I'm, I'm kind of developing myself as an artist, what I enjoy and what I like. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how my art develops over the years if I stick with drawing animals or end up painting more animals. I've painted a few in watercolor as well. So I'm also interested in expanding the animal and wildlife into that. So it'll be interesting to see how my work kind of evolves over the years between the watercolor and the pen and ink and the landscapes and the wildlife and just see how deep these things go and see if there's anything else that ends up popping up that I'm interested in that kind of connects with the rest of my life and kind of makes sense. Try to reflect on your life and uh, that's really the, the point of this video. It's just to like, if, if you're, you're stuck, you're not really sure what you're interested in, re reflect on your own life because it's, it's uh, something I always try to do and I even to this making this video right now, I didn't realize it before this point. So, very interesting. Hope you guys found this video interesting. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.